Um, it's the hotbed that I made a couple of years ago from slab wood and rhododendron from the forest. Um, and each winter I fill it with this lovely stuff, which is sort of waste from the ponies, really. It's, a, it's hay, spoilt hay mixed with dung. Um, and what we do is we layer it into the bed and then compact it down and tread on it. Um, firm it really hard down and we get a temperature of say about 30 degrees um, in a very short time, in a couple of weeks, even shorter than that. Um, and once it's filled, we take the cardboard or some insulating material and put it over the top just to tuck it up a bit and then you can use it as a base for um, putting seed trays on which give them an early start. Uh, you wouldn't want to plant in here straight away because it's just a bit hot for, for most of our local roots. The key to this is, is keeping it warm. Now, in previous years I've insulated around the edge with uh, sheep's wool, because I had plenty of sheep's wool at that time. Uh, I haven't done this this year, I've just put some layers of cardboard uh, to give a, an air, a, a wind tight gap, gap anyway. Um, you know, I'll lose some heat that way, but it's not so critical. And what happens is actually you get some of the warmth coming into the polytunnel. Yeah, key to the slow co composting, sort of slow release heat in this, is uh, making sure the compost is, the, the dung is really, really firm down. So you get on the bed and you just trample it evenly the whole way down after each layer you put on. And that gives it a nice slow cook. There's quite a lot of air gets into the uh, compost, into the hotbed, because of the, the hollow stems of the hay. And then you can tuck it all up. As it rots down, it will sink quite a lot. So in fact, what I'll do is I'll put some more, another layer on here before I give it its final tucking down. So once the temperature gets up a bit, you can sow your more tender seeds in a tray. I often cover them over with a a special lid um, or if they're vulnerable I put a piece of mouse netting over and then tuck them on here and then they'll benefit from that warmth. Might just te check the temperature. If I can find my thermometer. Yeah. yeah, only a short time it's been in and it's up to, can't read that, 16, 16 degrees and it's probably about 10 degrees outside. As the, t as the compost cools down um, you can then plant some um, vegetables straight into here. I usually do things like uh, tomatoes, melons, um, cucumbers, they love it, all that rotting organic matter, um, maybe some corn cobs, 